Hey everybody, this is Taryn the Traveling Trainer. Welcome to another edition of the Go Taryn TV Show. Today's April 26th, and I'd like to go right into the TV show and start about the gentleman that you just saw, a little dedication there in the beginning of this video, uh, Buff Bagwell. That's what he's better known as to his professional wrestling fans. But uh, his real name is Marcus Alexander Bagwell out of Marietta, Georgia. Unfortunately, involved in a very severe, serious auto accident on Monday this past week, April 23rd. Uh, reports are right now that his car flipped over several times. He had lost control of the car. Uh, again, not full specific details are known. There's speculation that he might have suffered a seizure prior to the accident. He called his wife immediately before it happened. Uh, whatever the case, the main important thing right now is I'm going to ask everybody out there, just please, if you could just take a couple seconds out and just, you know, to yourself, put some really good thoughts of Buff Bagwell and uh, just send some really nice vibes and good energy to him. Uh, because I just believe that the more people out there who are thinking of him, uh, positively and hoping that he makes a full 100% speed recovery, uh, I think uh, it can't hurt, uh, right? So uh, let's all get together and uh, think about him, uh, please. For myself, a lot of you know that I'm a professional wrestling diehard fan growing up. I'm not anymore. Uh, I don't watch professional wrestling now, probably for the last 12 years. But when I did watch it, one of the um, favorite athletes that I ever liked watching was Buff Bagwell. Uh, very, very uh, great wrestler uh, in the mid-90s. Uh, up into the late 90s is when he got a lot of notoriety and won all his championship belts and titles, primarily in world championship wrestling and promotion based out of Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, but anyway, just to tell you a little bit about Buff Bagwell, um, you know, he's grown up here in the Marietta area, right down the street actually to where I live. Um, I've contacted several wrestlers on Facebook and on Twitter, uh, letting them know that since I'm in close proximity, I'm going to try my best to see if I can find some information. Um, and, you know, just there's some other uh, wrestling fans and friends on the internet who have contacted me to try to see if uh, I can uh, give them some information and just uh, let them know. But I'm going to tell you this I'm going to try to go to the hospital that he's staying at, and uh, if anything, I'm going to bring him uh, some flowers and uh, just hopefully, again, uh, compile a list of thoughts and uh, prayers or anything that you guys have. I'll bring it to him. So I'll tell you what, right now, if there's anything you want to say to Buff Bagwell on uh, you know, your behalf so that I can present it to him, because what I'd like to do is I'm going to print out something, and if there's a nurse on call, he's in intensive care, so he's probably not even going to be available. Um, you know, I, I think they still got him sedated, but I'm going to compile a list of anybody out there who wants to say anything positive about him. Um, here's what you can do, okay? You can right now, just on this video blog, if you're watching me on Facebook, post it on my timeline. If you want to tweet it over to me on Twitter, go for it. If you want to send me an email, uh, do that, taren at gotaren.com or taren at gotaren.tv, either one. Uh, you can call or text me, 404-617-1239, okay? So uh, those are the best ways to try to send a message. If you want to just say one line and just say, you know, Buff Bagwell, you're in our thoughts. Uh, anything that you want to say, just please, um, you can put your name, where you're from, and uh, I'll uh, share that with them and I compile a list uh, when I try to hopefully uh, at least get the nurse uh, and you know, give him that along with uh, probably some flowers and maybe some baked goods or whatever. But uh, anyway, it's unfortunate. Um, you know, it's really sad. Um, you know, I'm sure that if you're really uh, you know a diehard wrestling fan like I was growing up around that time, you could probably relate to uh, you know that uh, these wrestlers become bigger than life and they're really you know great heroes to us. And I know he was to me um, definitely. You know, I've always been a big fan of his. And even um, you know though that. Most of his um, notable wrestling career was more than 10 years ago. He's still been professional wrestling in around the uh, southeast region, the Carolinas, Georgia, Alabama, Tennessee. So um, that you can tell that uh, professional wrestling is still his heart. And what we're really hoping for is that he pulls together and he'll be able to compete back in the ring, uh, let alone make a healthy recovery. I know that there's talk about maybe some broken bones in his jaw and his back and his neck. But let's just all uh, think about him. Put him in your thoughts, please. Uh, even if you're not a wrestling fan, um, just as a good human being and uh, 
you know, having some positive karma and energy sent your way, just go ahead and maybe, uh, you know, just put him aside, think about him, uh, please. I uh, really appreciate it. So as we continue on in the week, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to get the information together right now, so please bear with me. I'm going to try to get my best info about this whole situation, give you some updates, and I promise you that I'll continue to keep the blogs coming this week. But uh, in the meantime, um, just please send anything you want to say about him to me, and uh, I'm going to try my best to get that information related to him, okay? Um, some of uh, you, uh, again, know that I live in the Marriott area. I literally live about five minutes away from where he's staying at right now in that hospital. So uh, I feel some sense of, um, not obligation, but just um, a need uh, to go there and uh, tell him that his fans uh, and friends are thinking of him and uh, are really pushing for him to um, make 100% recovery from this, okay? So that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoy your Thursday. Be careful out there, everybody. Buckle up your seatbelt. Very, very careful on the roads driving, okay? And uh, before you leave your home, you go to work or uh, wherever you're going, uh, make sure to tell that loved one that uh, how much you care about them and uh, then go off to your day, okay? That's all I'm gonna ask you to do today. So uh, it's appropriate, yesterday we talked about stress management. Today, here, here we're gonna talk a little bit about being safe and uh, telling the loved ones what you think about them, okay? So till next time, you guys, remember, um, just keep everything going, like personal training, and what I always say, my philosophy, it's your time, it's your investment, it's your life. I'll check you guys out later. Peace.